A famous line from Shakespeare says, sweet are the uses of adversity, which like the toad, ugly and venomous, bears yet a precious jewel. Uh, I think we do learn things about ourselves and about our institution. Um, not things you necessarily had planned to learn or wanted to learn, because none of us wants to head into a difficult time. But I have learned so much about this university community, I wouldn't have learned any other way. What, what was at the core of what happened? What, what was that about? You know, I think in the press release we formulated it as a philosophical difference of opinion. I'm not sure I can improve on that. You know, when, when Rector Dragas came to you and asked you to step down, why, why did you agree to resign? Why, why not ask her to, to put it to a vote? Well, given that, you know, she told me that she had 15 of the 16 votes, um, you know, I could have asked for a public hearing. It struck me that would not be good for the university. Uh, and I didn't really want to put the university through a difficult period. As it turned out, I did not save the university from a difficult period at all. Maybe that was something that I misjudged and I should have asked to have, uh, you know, a hearing in a public vote. And when, you, when you think about reconciliation, which is, I know, a word that you've, you've talked about, have there been apologies made? Has the rector apologized to you? Or how has that played out kind of on an individual level? I don't think I want to go there. Were there other issues that didn't surface, that didn't surface before this crisis that you became aware were important issues to um, Rector Dragas and, and uh, members of the board? Uh, well, one of the concerns is about whether we were using social media adequately. And so, you know, I've learned a lot about its use, particularly, say, uh, in fundraising. Well, you definitely saw social media in action. No kidding. <laughs> in June. Yes. What, what was it like to be at the center of all of that? The social media campaigns, the rallies, vigils? Well, as it happened, I was actually out of town for most of the 16 days. And part of that was pre-existing commitments that I had to honor, but you know, part of it was also by choice. I felt it was better for me not to um, just you know, be here visibly in the center of everything. A reasonably private person, you know, as a university president, you do have a certain public persona. This is way over the top from anything I'd ever experienced before. Was it uncomfortable? Oh yeah, I think so. It has been widely reported that the rector led this effort to um, remove you from your position. Do you have the sense that she was working with other people? Are there other forces at play in that? I think that's sort of the central question that people are asking. You know, I, I honestly think you would have to ask the rector. I really don't think I can answer that question. Um, you know, what I have to go on as evidence and so on is not much, and I, I don't, you know, I can't point to anything that suggests that there were other forces or anything like that. You know, maybe there were, there were certainly lots of speculation. On the other hand, you know, academics are very good at theories. I think it would be very easy to get psychologically stuck on an episode like that, and I don't think that would be healthy. Uh, not healthy, you know, for individuals and probably not healthy for the institution either. <laughs>